many games you got on there? You got 884 games, 85 apps, 12 groups. Do you actually need all those stuff on here? Now my wheels in motion and my windows open with the wind blowing in my head. I'm driving down the highway, gonna do this my way. I can feel it in the air. Here I go. everyone and welcome to today's vlog hope you're all okay and happy war book day so if you're celebrating war book day what you gone dress up as or um what your children gone dress up as i know in the past um sammy's gone dressed up in all different characters and remember one year he was a devil one year he was a pirate and I can't think of the character he was actually. I think he was a ghost one year or something. So, yeah, but anyway, I know he's, he's had lots of fun decorating um, one dressed up as characters. I know this year, he could have dressed up if he wanted to. I said, Do you want to dress up? He goes, No, I'm too old for that now, which is fair enough. The option was there anyway. But today, he took a book into school. I can't remember if it's Super Mario Brothers or Sword and the Hedgehog. So, yeah, they was invited to take a book into school with them today. And in their class, they were going to share their favourite bits and obviously read books from the books to the rest of the class. So I think it's a really good way, actually. Really nice. It's a good way to get kids reading and enjoying books. Yeah, Sammy absolutely loves his books. He has them since he was little. I remember buying him the... Um, to actually feed the pop-up books and he used to actually love days i remember when he was younger his favorite book used to be his <laughs> i can remember reading that to him constantly all the time and even now we've still got some of his books he used to love like all the Julia donaldson books of the gruffalo and all that sort of thing he even though they're too babyish for him now he just wants to keep them he just doesn't want to get rid of them which is fair enough sentimental reasons and stuff so yeah remember every night when he was little he used mommy read me story so of course i used to read him a story and then he used to read it back to me and stuff so i think that's why he still loves reading now at school we were for parents even a few months ago i thought it was really really sweet was there was actually reading books and some some one child was struggling to read and so I went up to them help them which I thought was absolutely lovely he done that so like I said even now at home at night sometimes he'll read one of his books and he'll on the, on the past few occasions we went into his room and thought hang on Sam is quiet he's actually fell asleep reading bless him so anyway, he come home with one of these the other day when his wall book token things so we said we might go out the weekend point we might go and put down Tesco to see what there is because I know Tesco's had some for a pound so I would look at that book the, the Greg the Sausage Roll book um, from Lab Baby that's really really funny and the Tesco's had that so um, you see what they've got so yeah so no doubt he'll be full of beans and be quite interesting to tell us what he's done from War Book Day as well so obviously with them being a polished cart the school I'm not too quite sure if they're going to celebrate it today or not I just have to wait and see what happens when they come in from school a bit later so I'm not even don't even know what Ben is actually doing today to be honest if he does different things every day I shall say today is Thursday so I think he's doing his enterprise thing and obviously public transport that sort of thing so yeah we'll just have to wait and see what they come in from school so anyway yeah for me I've got there's nothing really major planned before I go to work. Obviously, I have done dishwasher. I have done my washing machine as well, which is great. I have got a little bit to go out, but I'm in an hour. It's got quite dark and overcast outside. And Alexa did say it was forecast from showers. So I don't really fancy opening it out. If it's going to get wet, basically. So, yeah, anyway, I'll go make myself a cup of tea now and just chill out for a little bit. And then, before I know it, get myself some snacks. And it'll be time. To celebrate World Book Day. World Book Day is the local manifestation of the original Global World Book Day, organized by UNESCO to promote reading, publishing, and copyright, and is widely observed on the 23rd of April. 
Organizers in the UK moved the observance to avoid clashes with Easter school holidays and with St. George's Day. On World Book Day, every child in full-time education in the UK is given a voucher to be spent on books. The event was first celebrated in the United Kingdom in 1995. So my daddy said he could play downstairs for an oh, hour. I'm let daddy watch football. Yeah, we've got an hour, yeah? Oh. So, oh well, we can it's play up right, here. If we, if we play a P, can play a P. So, but anyway, how was school today? Really good. Yeah. How was World Book Day today? Really good. Yeah. That's good. Did you share about your books today? Yeah. Yeah. So I clear my game stories on there. You can if you want to. Is that you need to clear your stories? Really? So this is the book Sammy actually took into school. It's the ultimate, what's it called? Or oh, the ultimate guide to Super Mario and Nintendo 2024 edition. Yeah, it was only a pound. So, look, so um, how many? You what, sweetheart? How much space you got on your? How much space you've actually got on your Xbox, Samuel? Probably hardly any. Yeah. So, anyway, are some of those games you can actually for your age range? Or you just been installing, it's probably just been installing any old rubbish on there, I think, to be honest with you. We're going to have to look at that and see how you get on with that, aren't we? Yeah, just clear everything off of them, just play, and then just play all the games you've got, because, again, they're not going down, are they, your storage? Well, how many games have you got on there? You've got 884 games, 85 apps, 12 groups. Do you actually need all those stuff on here? So, well, then there's some, some of these games you do play, though, don't you? You know you do play your Disneyland game. And stuff. Oh yes, yeah, Snow Run. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? What are these games on here? Do you play the most? Hmm. Probably Need for Speed or something. I know you play Need for Speed. On it, go up in it. Go up. So, so what? So quite like these are demos, though, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, so you, I see ones you've been playing the most. Well, you've been playing a golf game, have you? That is pretty cool. That golf game. And uh, now she's been playing on. I know you've been playing your train sim world on there, haven't you? So anyway, so you, if you play these, if you play it downstairs, is it sort of like the same up here? Or is it different? My Xbox is different because it has my Forza pack. Okay. Okay then. So, but anyway, finish eating your buttons so you can tell mummy about school. All right. While we're waiting for Sammy's um, Blue Wii to install, as you can see, that just goes to prove how slow our internet is. That's why I cleared. Xbox space off. You have to clear some space off, didn't you? It's just amazing how quickly these games actually take up. And if I want, I'm, I'm, I'm going to re download them. Yes, we type. Yeah, like I said, I suppose when you've got like a about three or four of these games, I suppose it easily fills them all up. Not too quite sure what holds the bigger space actually, whether it's the Xbox or whether it's the PlayStation. I know the Switch doesn't take a lot of space up, obviously, like that. So, but yeah, anyway, then, sweetheart, apart from. War book day too. What else have you been doing at school today? And there's book based things. Your book based things, oh yeah. So what have you been doing about your books based things? I've just been reading them. Um, oh yeah. yeah. Well, that's good you've actually been doing like book based things and stuff like that. Um, what did your teacher send home? What was you doing earlier on? Something. Yeah, what was you doing? I was doing slime. Were you playing with slime? Yeah. Ew. What's slime got to do with? I suppose it's century and stuff, that sort I of thing. It's century. It is century, isn't it? So, yeah, I'll show you the picture. It looked like, was she holding some string or something? Yeah. Yeah, I thought it looked like string. I should, like I said, I'll show you the picture in a second. But you had a big massive smile on your face, didn't you? Yeah. So, and did you have roasting today? Yeah. Roast what? Roast pork. Well, was it nice? Yeah. So, at least you've had a good day, though, haven't you, as well? Yeah. So, I suppose, um, like I said, with it being more book day, I suppose. Like I said, quite a lot of places actually done book theme activities and stuff like that. So, um, was anybody else dressed up this t today or not? No. Or was there a few people dressed up? A few people dressed up. Yeah, but you didn't want to dress up, did you? No. So, so he was just happy taking his book in. So, um, all right then, Svita, I shall leave you be. I shall let you know when dinner's ready in the, mid in the bit, all right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what we're having for tea yet. So, but don't forget, Daddy's got football on in half an hour, hasn't he? So uh, that's why I'm playing it up here for. Yeah, you could have played them downstairs. They said you could have played them downstairs for an hour, though, didn't they? Yeah. Yes, it's nearly kick off for Liverpool, isn't it? It's because they're in Sparta, Prague, in Czechoslovakia. I was gonna say where. I was gonna say where was um Sparta, Prague. Mm. But yet yeah, they're only an hour in front of us. I don't know. 
send an email to you over and say why you got a match so early. <laughs> oh well, I suppose, I, mean, no, I suppose we'll be on the way. At least Ben can sit it's and watch because, it. It's because of TV time as well. Oh, oh was it TV then, time? Don't forget there's a game later on involving Rangers. Oh, is there? Mm. Yeah, okay then. But like I said, at least Ben can watch it and that sort of thing. So, um, and then next week, Liverpool's on later while Rangers are on earth. Oh, right, okay. Because Rangers go up, mate, Liverpool come back to home. Oh, right, okay. Mm. That sort of thing. But like I said, football, I wouldn't have the calling. So, um, has he got his. Any of his main players back, do you know yet? Or? I won't know till Friday, look up. Oh, you won't, because I, I didn't. Of course, you didn't watch his press conference, did you? So. Yeah. And then one thing you did say you was happy with, didn't you? You said Mo Salah's back in training. You saw that yesterday, didn't you? Yeah, he's going to be safe for City. Oh, is he? <laughs> What's that about one of the Man City players just broke his finger or something, hasn't he? I don't know, sure. Oh, well, but anyway, yeah, so, um, Stephen just put tea in for us. We've got some of usual pie things and stuff like that, so. You right, Ben? <laughs> you right, Ben? You are darling? So we never buy enough cans of beans, do we? Well, don't forget. Yeah, we only picked up one. Well, don't forget, we used to eat one meal of potatoes. Not yesterday, day before, we used two, we used two tins on the potatoes. So, here Mr. the money's in here. Bless him. Are you being noisy? Me? Yes, yeah, sweetheart. I'd love to know how he does that with his swing. He really, really would. I've tried loads and loads of times, just can't do it. And even um, like mum and dad, everybody else is, they just, it's just, it's just got a knack for doing it that way. Like when he flips it over, it's like a crazy how long he can paint with the spring. He really, really has. I'm really quite surprised he doesn't take it to school with him. A few nights he's actually took it up to bed with him. He's done it to sleep. He's put his like a couple of teddy bears. What's Ben like to cuddle? A spring. <laughs> yes, sweetheart. Well, I actually found that brings Thursday to an end. And yeah, currently right now I am watching Liverpool in their first leg of the last 16 of the Europa League against Sparta Prague. Currently winning 4-1 and uh, a bit of a concern with two injuries to do Canate and Joe Gomez. Hopefully it's not going to do much for Sunday, but we'll wait and see. But anyway, like the video, comment down below, subscribe button. See you in the next one. Bye, everyone.